you can do more with AI object removal in Filmora than just removing the ob ob object in your frame that's not supposed to be there or somebody in the background that is distracting your viewers. I will show you what else you can do with this and I will show you some tips on how to use AI object removal so that you won't face the failure to remove object in Filmora. Let's dive in. If you have never tried AI object removal, this is how you do it. Select the clip where you want to remove something. In this instance, it is somebody here I want to remove. And go to the menu in the timeline, click on the more. If your screen is larger, you will be able to see this. And select the AI object removal icon. It will bring you to this screen. And you can select the brush size at the top here. For this person, it's quite small in the frame. So I will reduce the brush size and mark that person. And Filmora will be able to detect that person or that object that you want to remove. Next, you need to do is to just click on remove and Filmora will remove it. Now, if your object is really small, then you may want to zoom in using the, the screen here. So that's one way to uh, look at the object closer. Okay. Now, if you have marked something you're not supposed to mark, for example, let's say I mark this. So what you can do is to select the eraser and uh, erase the things that you have uh, selected and it will be erased. So next, what you need to do is just click on remove and what Filmora is doing is to track this object. As you can see, as it moves across the screen, Filmora will first track it and then once it's done tracking, you will have this rotating sign that it is removing object. Now depending on the length of your clip, it may take a while. Now, one thing I wanted to share is that sometimes you may see a message, maybe uh, Filmora is unable to track it or remove it. I found that if you break up the clip into smaller sections, then the higher there's a higher chance of Filmora being able to remove that object. And let me give you an example. So there's this example where I have a car, a yellow car, and it is going down the highway. I wanted to remove it. And when I have, say, uh, 10 to, second, 10 to 20 second clip, I have trouble removing it. So what I did was to break it into several sections. So this section is only about one and a half to two seconds long. And the next section is also about one and a half to two seconds long. And it managed to erase that. If you have trouble or have failure to remove object, then it's something that you can try. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is that uh, when you have a background like this, for example, zebra stripes behind the car, uh, in this case, then it becomes uh, very hard for Filmora to do its work. So if you have a plain background, like what I have over here, the background is plain and this object in front is also plain, then it makes the job easier. Now let's go on to the meaty part while we let Filmora to do this removal object. Now I have this clip over here and uh, it is a person walking. And what I've done is to split the clip to the front so that this section I apply AI object removal and uh, I get this section like this and this section, the person disappear and then it appears and then the third section, it disappear again. Now, if you look at the camera panning, you notice that it is one long clip. So what I've done is take the clip and split this and then for the clip in front and at the back, I have actually applied AI object removal. Now, if you want to create a ghost light effect, what you need to do is just go to transitions, click on the dissolve uh, transition, drag this down in between the two clips. You have this effect, like a ghost effect, like something appearing. For this section, I wasn't panning the camera uh, smoothly. So uh, the best thing is to lengthen the transition. All right, so say for about two seconds. Now I'm going to do the same for the uh, second section. And for this section, the panning is smoother, so I can actually uh, shorten the transition so that it still looks good. So besides removing an object or a person, this is the second thing that you can do to create something like a ghost-like effect. And uh, finally, uh, you can do something like this. It's something like a magic trick. So here you see me walking towards a wall. This is my original footage and I have recorded myself uh, walking towards a wall and then sort of just stop right in front. Now what I've done is again split the clip into two sections. So this clip here has me walking towards the wall. Uh, on the second half of this video, I've actually do AI object removal and 
Uh, this is what Filmora has come up with. Next, what I did was to apply a transition again, but in this case, my transition is actually applied to the back part of that video rather than through the front part because I want to make as if I walk into the wall. So these are two additional things that you can do with this AI object removal in Filmora. Do give it a go and keep in mind of the tips that I mentioned earlier, which is to make sure your background is clean and then it makes it easier for Filmora to do the AI object removal. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have learned something, do consider giving it a like and subscribe. If you haven't uh, subscribed and check out what's on the screen right now for the next Filmora tip.